The goal of this new institute is to bring together academics and pharmaceutical company scientists to make the process of moving ideas from the academic institution into useful patient drugs and diagnostic agents. TDI is, is really designed to complement perfectly what academic investigators do best. People in universities are very good at innovation and identifying pathways that if we could alter them, usually inhibiting them, sometimes increasing them, we could treat disease basically or prevent it. That's the mountain on one side. The mountain on the other side is drug development. Uh, we're not good at that. Uh, drug companies tend to be extremely good at it. Drug development is a very complex, concerted process that requires not only the basic science development, but also the ability to actually create a final product and to test it to do very, very stringent quality control. This Therapeutics Discovery Institute should help us bridge that gap, make this process faster, and get these drugs into patients much more quickly. In the work that we're doing to prevent and treat pediatric respiratory viruses, TDI is exactly what we need right now. Because we have the science, we understand the steps that viruses use to infect, we have molecules that we can use to block those steps, but we can't turn those into drugs that could actually be used in children. About four years of work here. Right now, most investigators who do a high throughput screen and have an interesting molecule usually have to scramble to find partners to do medicinal chemistry. Uh, that usually takes a long time and often is inefficient, under-resourced often. If you are able to take early things that scientists discover and move them through this pipeline, move them over this valley of death more rapidly, you'll certainly get more and better and more interesting things, compounds to people. So this is ESK binding? Yeah. This program is unique because for the first time it brings together three different academic institutions with very different resources and expertises, all of which complement each other to work in close partnership with a pharmaceutical company. This is not like previous relationships in which ideas were taken from academia and brought to a pharmaceutical company and then developed there. We are planning to work together at the same time as a team. If you discover something in an academic lab, it's great to have an industrial partner to take it to the next level. You can't do it from academia, you don't want to do it from academia. We, the academics, choose the projects. This is really different. I mean, typically a drug company will work with academics if they are deeply interested in a particular project and they can see a path all the way through to a unique marketing opportunity. We're right here in the same neighborhood. We can invite them into our laboratories and go work alongside them and theirs. So information comes back in real time. The project team can adjust. One of the very exciting aspects of this new program is it allows us to develop drugs for neglected diseases and orphan diseases. Many diseases are, do not involve that many patients, and as a consequence, pharmaceutical companies and sometimes even funding agencies are not interested in, in those particular diseases. This will allow us to focus efforts on some of these very important and very lethal diseases for the first time and get drug company involvement to develop drugs for them. I think there's enormous benefit to potential pharmaceutical partners because they're going to have a much more sophisticated molecule and much more sophisticated program to look at when they make their decision about whether to partner or not. What the companies like is the ability of having all of these different scientists and a critical mass of scientists together in one place. I think this is what motivates those of us in medical research. We're doing it because we want to affect the lives of people and we want to see the work that we do have a positive impact. We really do. And I think that this is really as direct a bridge to that happening as one could hope for.